out of wedlock and all the rest of it. You know, you don't have to be good. You just have to acknowledge you're a sinner. And we all make mistakes. We all fail. We, we all don't live up to what we should live up to. The point is that David here began to admit where his sin was, turn away, and when he did that, in that 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 we find forgiveness from God again 1 John 1 9 if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness so I don't know about your life you might be a Christian and you might have gone out with a, a man or a woman that's not a Christian you might have slept with them and you're not married And you think to yourself, well, that's it. My faith is gone now. I'm, I'm not a Christian anymore. Or if I'm a Christian, I'm, I'm certainly not going to be forgiven again. I don't know what, what sins you've committed, and I don't need to know, and I don't want to know. But what I do know is that if you have fallen into sin, whether a Christian or, or not, whether you're not a Christian, that there's always a way back to God. That God offers forgiveness, but it, it comes at the point where we have to acknowledge our own failure and sin. Again, I'll read that verse again, 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we confess, we got to confess, we got to acknowledge, God, I'm a sinner. God, I failed. God, I've not done what I should have done in this area and we have to confess we have to be honest it's very hard to be honest with ourselves it's very hard to confess before God but it's the only way to know God it's the only way back to God is to confess and if we confess and turn away from that sin God will have us back but we've got to confess Psalm 34 18 Psalm 34 verse 18 The Lord said is nigh unto, unto 